Hi friends, this is Loli bringing you three beautiful thin can DIYs. Free is the best, isn't it? For the first piece, we're gonna use one of these thin cans I saved. And the first thing I'm gonna do is cover it with this apple red color from Apple Barrel. This is acrylic paint. And here you see me leaving the top and the bottom empty. I did not need to leave the bottom empty. I don't know why I did at first. So then you'll see me here coming back and finishing off the bottom. The top I did leave empty because I am going to use a different color for that. Friends, but thank you so much for clicking on my video and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. This is going to be three beautiful DIYs that are for pennies on the dollar. All right, for the top section, I'm going to use this multi-surface green paint color from Folk Art. And I'm going to go ahead and add little greenery. If you cannot tell yet, this is going to be a little sunflower, no, sunflower, <laughs> a little um, strawberry um, planter. So I'm just adding that little green sections and the strawberry have little leaves at the top. And I'm not, I'm not, you know, following any particular pattern or anything, just trying to be as random as possible because nature is random. So the top part here, I'm just making some little, you know, peaks and valleys and that's pretty much it. If you want to recreate this and you don't feel comfortable going and doing this with your paint right away, you can always take a pencil and just draw it in first and then go over it with the paint. I was feeling adventurous at this time, so I figured let me just go for it. And then once I was done, I used my heat gun to dry it up, but just be careful because that pan gets really hot. <laughs> you don't want to burn yourself. And then I go ahead and painted the inside of the can with the green as well. Now I'm coming in with this parchment color from Apple Barrel, and I'm going to add a little bit onto my surface using a toothpick. Oh Lord, a skewer. And I just, you know, put it into the paint and made my dots like you saw there. Now here I'm going to add some of this floral foam from Dollar Tree onto the bottom of the can and I'm adding it right there with some hot glue. Now I found these beautiful strawberry picks at Dollar Tree guys. They are so, so beautiful. So what I did is I removed the tags and I'm going to butt them back to back i'm using two of them together and i'm going to just stick it onto my floral foam into the can right there and then i'm just going to go ahead and fluff it up try to make it look nice and even and fluffy and beautiful and that's all she wrote look how cute that is guys this is gorgeous i love it i really really love it it just screams summer to me what do you think This video, my friends, is part of the Craft Your Trash Open and by collaboration. In this collaboration, creators are using glass and cans to create beautiful home decor. The host of this collaboration is Kate from So Kate, and the co-host this month is Tammy from Happiness Created. There are links to their channels and to their playlist will be in the description box below. So don't forget to stop by and say hey to everyone and soak up all the amazing inspiration they all have for you. All right, for the second inspiration piece, we're gonna use Shocker, another tin can. I'm going to paint it using this blue aqua from Apple Barrel. Then I'm gonna come in with this antique parchment from Apple Barrel as well. And I'm going to just add a little bit of white on the middle there, but add not, not in the middle, a little bit lower than the middle, but I'm not carrying all the way to the bottom. There you'll see. I don't know. I'm going to let you try to guess what I'm making. All right, so just go with it. I'm just making, you know, the little mountains, everything very irregular. And then I'm coming in with some of the sand from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to add some Mod Podge to the bottom section of the pan, the can, and then uh, once that's nicely covered, I'm going to add some of this sand that I got from um, the new, what is it called again? Shore Living. The new um, Shore Living collection. I just added the sand to it. Kept adding some of the Mud Podge in places where it didn't stick and I just kept adding some more. Once that dried, I'm coming in with some of this rope from Dollar Tree. I'm just, you know, burning off all the little fuzzy edges. I like things to be nice and 
chart it a little bit and at the same time meet. And here I'm making sure that my end is nice and straight also. And now we're gonna use some hot glue and I'm going to glue this to the top section of the can as you see there. I used a combination of hot glue and gel super glue to ensure that they stayed in place. My friends, if you enjoyed this video so far, I'm gonna ask you to leave me a thumbs up. And if you're so inclined, go ahead and subscribe. It is free and it means the world to me. But don't forget to hit the notific notification bell so you're able to be notified each time I upload a video. All right, friends, back to it. Here you see me closing out my rope, just making sure everything's nice and straight. And now I'm taking some seashells and some stones that are actually my children and I collected from the beach. And we are going to add it all around the blue section of this tin can. And here it's always looking so far. Then I took some floral foam from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to glue it on the bottom as well. And I'm going to use three of these um, short living picks that I got at Dollar Tree. I removed the tags and I'm going to place them in different sections. Three of these were just like sea kelp and two of those, I'm sorry, one was like only sea kelp and then two of those had like two cute little seahorses on them as well. So I added those towards the side, making it a nice but and very cute little arrangement. Just making sure to arrange the little kelps at different places. They were a little bit tangled in some places, so I just, you know, adjusted it. Now I'm coming in with some paper towels and I'm adding it to the sides of my planter so I don't have to use so much product for the next part of this DIY. So I'm just placing it on there, making sure to just cover that opening on the sides where the floral foam was not there. And now I'm going to go ahead and place it down, make sure that it's even. And then I'm going to use some of this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to add it all on top of that paper towel, covering it up. Just giving this the look of, you know, the netting that you see fishermen would use. That's pretty much what I was thinking when I saw this mesh. And the color was, you know, just perfect for that sandy color, that beach sand color. If this ribbon is not available for you to use, you can always use some of the seashells that Dollar Tree covers around this time as well. Or if you go to the beach, you can grab some seashells for there. Just make sure that they are, you know, out of in the sun and there's no little critters on it before you use it. But um, that will also be a cute idea and it will even give this even more character. And you can use tiny little pieces of seashells on top of the greenery as well. I might just go back later on and add some seashells on top of that um, ribbon as well. What do you think? Should I leave it the way it is or should I add some seashells? Then I just fluffed away until I could fluff no more. And here it is. Oh my God, guys, this is so... This is so stinking cute, guys. I was trying to do like one of each summer thing. I think I nailed the beach. What do you think? For the third inspiration piece, my friends, another thing can. <laughs> but I'm going to this time use some of this fabric from the Dollar Tree. So the first thing that I did was measure to see exactly how much I needed. And we are going to cut that section with our scissors. And now that our fabric is ready, I'm gonna go ahead and take some Mud Podge and add it to the tin can. I'm using a nice generous amount, making sure to have a nice and even surface on there. And then I'm going to take the fabric and place it right on top of that Mud Podge. I will be adding the Mud Podge in small sections to avoid any drying and just adding it as I'm going until I completely cover the entire tin can. As I add the fabric, I also make sure to brush the edges in to make sure that the end is completely adhered to the bottom and I don't have it sliding around as I'm adding the rest of the fabric. 
Friends, if you notice, Dollar Tree is starting to carry more and more prints of fabric and the quality of the fabric also has improved. So I am loving this one. You can use any kind of fabric that you like from Dollar Tree. I just happen to like this print and it just was perfect for what I had in mind. Once I had the entire can covered, I just cut the piece off, just making sure to have a small section overlapping, so I'm able to close this nicely. I just added Mod Podge to the fabric underneath and then on top, and now I'm covering the entire fabric with the Mod Podge as well to give this a nice protective coating. For the inside of the can, I used some of this Mace Waverly chalk paint and I just painted about a third down. And this is how we're looking so far. I took some of this um, ribbon from the Dollar Tree border. I'm not sure, it's made out of jute. And I'm just going to glue it on both the top and the bottom of the tin can. I wanted the cord to have a little bit of a charred effect on it, so I just ran my lighter over it to remove any little fuzzies and give a little bit of charred. And what I did to the top, I did to the bottom, so I added it on there as well. And then you're gonna take some floral foam and we're going to cut a piece that is big enough to fit at the bottom middle of the can there. And I want it also to be tall. So I'm going to cut that piece onto another half in order to have that desired height and not you know, waste too much of the floral foam either by adding a, such a big chunk in there. I just added some hot glue to the bottom of my can and pressed my foam down onto the bottom of the can. Then I came in with this um, coral color flowers on the Dollar Tree and I'm going to just go ahead and spread them open just to give some space in between and then I'm going to go ahead and insert them onto the floral foam inside of my can. Then I'm going to use these picks that I got from Walmart and I'm going to just remove the tags and we are going to add them alongside of this pick but as I'm adding them, adding them into this pick as well, onto this floral arrangement, I am moving the different branches along. So it kind of like goes, it hugs around the flowers and it just, you know, blends in together. Friends, I apologize here that this is a little bit out of focus, but I'm just, you know, placing the pick on the opposite side of the flowers that I the opposite of the other pick I just added before this one and also arranging the flowers to um, have that greenery be around all the bouquet making it look like it's just one full pick all together. Then I just kept fluffing it until I was happy with how it was looking. I truly love how this green and that coral looks together. Look how cute that looks. So now I'm coming with some of this macrame cord from the Dollar Tree and I am tying it to the center of my can, cutting a piece big enough that will leave me some tails. And I'm just going to go ahead and tie it using two double knots. Once the cord was nicely secured, I'm going to go ahead and use some of these flowers that I got from Dollar Tree. They are burlap flowers. I'm going to take like one, like a medium one with a little charm in the middle, and I'm going to go ahead and glue it on there. But first I'm going to trim those pieces down from the cord and then I'm gluing it down. 
and I thought that I needed a little bit more character on the little tails there so what I did is I took the ends and I unraveled them completely to give it the look of tassels. And here we go, we are all done. Let me know what you think. And here is the final reveal. I love these pieces, guys. Let me know which one is your favorite. I think, again, I left the best for last. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite. And guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Be blessed, be a blessing, and craft responsibly. And if you like to follow me on social media, here are my social media links. And don't forget to visit my friends on the playlist. And here's a video suggestion if you would like to watch more of my content. Thank you again, guys. Bye.